Other news tonight, they say he is innocent. Dozens of friends, family, and former foster kids are now rallying around an Oklahoma City police officer who's accused of molesting one of his adopted sons. Maurice Martinez was arrested on Wednesday, due at 6. Adriana Vyshinsky is following the story and has the latest on the quest for justice. Adriana? Well, Amanda, Maurice Martinez is not only an 18-year veteran of the police force, he's been a foster parent with DHS for the past 10 years and has helped more than 50 kids. He even won an award last year for being one of the top foster parents in the state. That's why the allegations against him are so disturbing. But the people who say they know and lived with him say those allegations are absolutely untrue. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I've, I've seen him help too many kids in my life of being around him to do something like that. He didn't do it. He did it. His whole life he would give something before he would take himself. And this one allegation is going to completely ruin his life forever. More than 20 people showed up here at the Midwest City Library to show a united front for Sergeant Maurice Martinez. They're false. It's not true. We all know it. That's why we're here to back him and support him. We will prove that it's not true. Lori Johnston is a mother of two boys who were adopted by Martinez. She says they've come a long way and it's all due to him. I'm proud for my kids to say that that's their dad. Many of the young men here are his former foster kids and boys he's helped get off the streets. Gave me a place to live. You know, got me a job, put me in the military. I mean, he does that with all of his foster kids. He believed in us when nobody else would. According to police and court records, the boy who reported the allegations told three ladies at church that his adopted father had been making him perform sex acts and that it all occurred inside Martinez's bedroom at his South Oklahoma City home. The boy claims it had been happening ever since he turned 14 and that Martinez was grooming others. Until the course of the investigation is complete, no more children will be placed in that home. But these young men and women say it's all a lie. If it was true, a lot more kids would have came forward and said it, but nobody else has. Just one. And it was because he was mad, because he didn't get his way. We know he's innocent. We believe him. We know that he would never hurt a child. All he does is help them. Now, Sergeant Martinez has bonded out of jail and is currently on administrative leave. Amanda. All right, Adriana, we can also tell you the six boys recently in Martinez's care are now in protective custody while this case is being investigated.